everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make two cards using the October stamp of the month called Wildflower Friendship. You can get this stamp set for $5 with any $50 purchase or for free if you're a VIP. So this is the stamp set and has some images of a fox and an owl and a cute little hedgehog. So we're going to use the fox in our project today. I'm going to use papers from As You Grow and uh, later on some gold foil cardstock. I'm going to use pattern number six for Make It From Your Heart volume four and I'm going to loosely follow it. So I've put the fox in my misty and I've got a piece of black cardstock set up in it. And I'm hitting it with my anti-static pouch because I'm going to heat emboss on this. So I'm going to ink up the fox with Versamark ink. And this tool I'm using, it's a chucky tool and it helps with getting even pressure in your misty. And it's really just an air hockey paddle and you can get these on Amazon for just a couple of bucks. Okay, so I've got my image stamped and I'm gonna bring in some gold embossing powder and I'm gonna sprinkle this over a coffee filter to catch the excess. I'm just gonna sprinkle it and then tap off the excess. That looks good, and then I'll funnel everything back into the jar, the leftovers. Okay, and I'll bring in my heat tool and heat this up and melt the embossing powder. So I've got this sped up pretty quick. Just heat that up, and then we're good to go. Okay. So now I'm going to, first I'm gonna buff out that anti-static powder to clean everything up. And then I'm gonna bring in these markers. They're the metallic markers from Spectrum Noir and they are opaque, so they will color over anything. So I'm gonna color in the fox image because the copper color is kind of fox colored. <laughs> so I sped this up super fast too. Um, when you're using these markers, be very careful because they will color over anything. So it will color over the embossed lines. So you have to be uh, very careful about where you color. But it's pretty quick and easy. All right, got my fox colored in. Now we can start building the card. So this is a piece of uh, pattern paper from As You Grow, and that's going to be my base. So I'm gonna cut that at four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to bring in another piece and I'm going to cut this twice because I want the dots to be in the center. And so that end piece, they're kind of uh, pushed towards one side. So I'm going to cut a second piece at a half an inch. And then I'm going to wind up trimming that up just a little bit more too. So my black cardstock piece is at two and a half inches. So I'm going to cut this other piece of As You Grow also at two and a half inches. And then the height of this fox piece is five inches. All right, so I'm going to dovetail the bottom part of this fox piece. And I'm just basically following the pattern uh, from pattern number six, make it from your heart volume four. And um, actually the fox piece in the pattern is two and a quarter, but um, I made it two and a half inches on this one just so that it would fit. So I'm gonna bring in my uh, Spectrum Noir uh, metallic markers again, and I want to match the gold. So I'm just going to doodle some lines around the edges. I'll create kind of a frame. And just be brave and go for it. Your lines, it's doodling. You're not going to be, they're not going to be straight, not going to be perfect, but that's the beauty of doodling. Okay, so I've got a nice little frame around my fox, and then I'm going to bring in another color. It's kind of close to harbor in the blue, and I'm going to doodle around the edges as well to create a, a frame for my uh, card base. All right. So now we're ready to start assembling the card. So I've got a card base here. First, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Okay, so it says just a note, a little note, sorry. And I need to trim this up just a little bit later on. Let's see. So 
So we'll start assembling the card. That other piece that you see there, that little sliver, I've decided to save that and use it on my next card. It's a tiny sliver of the gold foil paper. So I'm just going to put everything down with Tombow Tape Runner. It's all flat, so this is a good card for mailing. There's not a lot of bulk to it. I'll just attach my fox with the Tombow Tape Runner. And then I will add my sentiment right above it. And this is where I figured out it was just a little too tall, so I trimmed it up a bit. And now it fits. Okay. And then for the last step, I'm going to add some gold gems. Got to add a little bling. So I'll just scatter a bunch of these around. And I'll have some close up shots at the end. All of these images in this set are fun to color and intricate, all the little florals. But this is a quick way to get color on your image. And it packs a lot of punch with that gold embossing powder. Okay, now we can make another card. So I'm going to use the same exact design. And I'm using a piece of wood grain paper. It's from the Core Catalog. And I've cut this down to two and a half inches by five. I'm going to stamp my fox in black ink. And then I'm also going to color them in with the metallic markers. You can use any kind of uh, coloring method. Um, you could use your markers or colored pencils. I like these metallic markers. They give a nice finish. So I'm going to skip ahead because it does take a little more time to fill in all those color in all those little intricate flowers. Okay, so there's my finished coloring and I'm going to go ahead and dovetail the bottom of this piece as well. Just snip in the center and then take each corner to meet that snip. Okay, and then I'll step my sentiment a little note on my little piece of As You Grow paper. It's in the mulberry color. All right. And then I'm going to doodle on this one as well. This is the Le Pen uh, journaling pens, and they're great for doodling. Give a really fine line. Okay, now we can start building the card. It's a a2 card base at four and a quarter by five and a half. I'll just add my base with Tombow and then my fox. She turns out so cute. If you notice, her nose is a small heart turned upside down. Okay, I'm going to add that little sliver of gold foil paper. It just gives a little pop and sparkle. And then I'll add my sentiment at the top. And I'll finish off the same way with some gold gems. So I'll make a list of all the supplies that I used in this project. And I'll add links in the description below. And you can shop at the Earl in the upper right corner of your screen, or you'll find more in information in the description. And once again, this is available only during the month of October. It's $5 with any $50 purchase. And there's my finished card. She's so cute. <laughs> I appreciate you watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.